everyone, welcome back to another keto mukbang and a movie. I am doing another quiche, but I've made this one a little bit different, and we're gonna watch Secret in Their Eyes. Welcome everyone, good to see all of you again. And what I've got is a quiche. I have done a quiche before, but this one is different, so I like to share the different ones. This one here, how I did it, first off, the carb count on it is four servings at four and a half carbs. Now you could make this six servings because it's a pretty big piece. You could make it um, six servings and then it would only be like two and a half carbs. Um, it would be a great meal prep if you're doing it for just yourself. So you'd either have four meals or you would have six meals. And then you could do something on the side. Maybe some of that cauliflowered rice, cauliflowered mash, maybe some pork rinds, um, maybe a salad on the side. You know, just whatever you're in the mood for. But how I made this one is eight eggs, six slices of turkey bacon to keep it lower fat. And then for the veggies, I got my greens here. I've got two servings of broccoli through the whole pan. I have got a half of a large green pepper through the whole pan. And I've got three green onion through the whole pan. So of course you're only gonna get so much of each, that's where it makes it four and a half carbs. And then um, I have got a full cup of mozzarella cheese, but I've done one cup through the mixture. And then at the end of it, I put another half a cup just on the top. Now you could go without the cheese to keep it lower and do um, Parmesan cheese through it. That would be really great. And other than that, you could, to keep it a little lower fat, again, you could make egg whites. Then you would do 10 of them. Instead of eight, you would do 10 egg whites. So that would make it very, very low then because it's only turkey, bacon, and veggies. And like I said, the cheese, switch it up for Parmesan and switch the eggs to egg whites. So that being said, this is what I got at four and a half carbs. I'm pretty excited. It looks delicious. You can make your quiche any way you want. This is how I was in the mood for it tonight. So, and then the movie we're watching is Secret in Their Eyes. This is a pretty recent movie. It's not that old. It is from, let's see here. Should have been prepared for that. 2015, it looks like. So it's not that old of a movie, but it has got um, Nicole Kidman, Julia Roberts, and I don't remember how to say this guy's name of uh, Chit, Chit Wel, Weltel. I don't know how to say his last name there, <laughs> but um, it's that uh, black guy right there. I'll get up closer for you guys to see. So but this is a really great movie. All of these guys are detectives and they um, are doing a case on, she lost her daughter. Her daughter was um, killed. She was raped and killed, okay? And so she ends up having so many problems throughout her life because her daughter was killed. She was very close to her daughter. Her daughter was, I think, 18 maybe 17 to 20 I can't remember she was young okay after she got killed she had many problems in her life then she comes on new Nicole Kidman comes on new as a detective or whatever and here's the other detective and they're trying to figure out the crime they're trying to figure out who did it this movie goes back and forth when you see him the black guy here with gray hair that's current when you see him without the gray hair that's going back so you see it goes back and forth in the movie so make sure you pay attention if you haven't seen this one very great movie and the ending will blow you away like I was so blown away by this and just I don't know if I liked it or I didn't I don't know if I was in her same shoes um, I don't know but you got to see this movie amazing movie and who doesn't love Julia Roberts and uh, Nicole Kidman so and then of course him too I just can't say his name but I love him as an actor too so really great movie and I'll just read the back quick here it says Academy Award nominee for that black guy, can't say his name, and Academy Award winners Nicole Kidman and Julia Roberts star in this intense, haunting thriller that explores the murky boundaries between justice and revenge. A tight-knit team of rising investigators, Ray, that's that guy, Jess, that's Robert, um, Julia Roberts, and their supervisor, Claire, who is Kidman, is torn apart when 
Jess's teenage daughter is brutally and expl explicably murdered. After obsessively searching for the exclusive killer every day for 13 years, Ray finally uncovers a new lead that he's certain will resolve the case. No one is prepared, however, for the shocking secret that will reveal the enduring destructive effects of personal uh, re revenge or ren ren re vengeance on the human soul. Sorry. Sometimes I can't read certain things or I read it backwards. I'm dyslexic. So, but anyways, doesn't that sound good? Amazing. If you haven't seen it, definitely get this movie. So let's get this going. Okay. And we'll just have it about 12. That should be enough. Um, I also am going to use some hot sauce. I love my food um, spicy. So I'm going to add some hot sauce too. I'm sure it's delicious without the hot sauce, but I love things hot. So you can have the hot sauce here. I'm sorry, I'm freezing. I should have put a sweater on. I have the air conditioner on, but it's hot out. It's like 80 some degrees and I'm also cold because um, I was out tanning, came back in and then of course you get even more cold because I was sweating out there. So sorry, I don't have any makeup on. Today was a tanning day, a laundry day, cleaning house day, which cleaning house day is every day, right? Um, but I just had a lot going on. So no makeup tonight, hair bunned up. Just a tank top, but I am wearing a skirt. <laughs> uh, but anyways, um, yeah, I'm out tanning. I am getting nice and dark. Pretty happy with that. It's not even showing how dark I am on there as what I am in real person. But I am trying really hard to get nice and tan for a outfit of the day video that I'm going to do for you guys that you're going to love in a couple weeks. So I need to be nice and tan for it. Just drinking water tonight. I filled up my Power 80. Put it in the freezer. You could drink whatever you want because it's only four and a half carbs here. So I could have done like a Power 8 Zero if I wanted to, but I really need my water. With all the tanning I've been doing, I need uh, the water. It's very good for the skin to hydrate the skin. So, and I lotion all the time too. I use that hemp's oil. So let's taste this. Look at this. Look at all those veggies in there. Oh, don't fall. <laughs> all those veggies in there and the bacon and the cheese. Yum. Mmm. Mm. This one's better than the last one I made. Yum. Now, how I did it here, I got a slideshow at the end. Really, really easy to do a quiche. Um, I cooked all my veggies first. So the broccoli was a frozen broccoli. I popped that in my microwave. And I used two servings of the broccoli. Um, and then I um, took the, the green pepper, cut it up, took the green onion, cut it up, and I cooked it in a little bit of butter. I'm sorry, I didn't have olive oil tonight, so when you see the video and you see it's got butter in it, you can do it with olive oil to keep it a better fat, or you can just fry them up in a little bit of water, too, to keep it even lower fat. You don't gotta cook your veggies in any kind of stuff. You can do it in water. You guys all know that you can steam your veggies in water, so you can just do that. But I just cooked up those, cooked up my turkey bacon, of course, and then I just scrambled my eggs, poured them into, I got a pan that's like a, um, I think it's an eight by four. It's a pretty small cake pan. Um, what could I compare it to? Uh, well, just figure it's like an eight by four. It's not a nine by 12. It is a, um, nine by 12. Let's see, nine by 12. Maybe this is a 12 by four. Maybe that's what it, cause it looked like it was about a ruler size. So I think this is a 12 by four where the other one is a, um, nine by, or what is it? Nine by 12. So it's nine this way, 12 this, or Wait a minute, I'm saying all this wrong. If that's a nine by 12, so it's longer. So this one, yeah, would definitely just be an eight by four then. It is a much smaller cake pan. So I poured, um, mixed up my eggs. Sorry guys, got a little confuser. Uh, mixed up my eggs, my eight eggs. Again, you can use 10 egg whites, but I mixed up my eggs, poured that into the pan. Then I took my cooked uh, ground turkey and I used one of the kitchen scissor knives and I cut it all up inside of there, all six pieces. And then I just threw in my two servings of the cooked broccoli from the microwave. And then of course my cooked mixture of um, green pepper and onion. And then I threw that in there too, mix it around, put uh, excuse me, a half a cup of mozzarella cheese. That's where you can use Parmesan cheese. And then I put it in the oven on 350 for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, I pulled it out and I put the other half of mozzarella cheese because I used a full cup. But remember now, this is split four ways, so I'm not getting all of that cheese. So if you truly wanted it, you could have it. It wouldn't be that bad. You could do it with the egg whites, and that is keeping it low right there, and then don't cook your, your veggies in the butter. Then you can have the mozzarella cheese. You're going to cut back. But if you want to cut way back, I would do it with egg whites, no butter cooking your veggies, use water, and use Parmesan for the cheese. 
that's going to be super, super duper low. So, but yeah, I mean, you can do your quiches however you want. You can put whatever you want in it for veggies. You can just do a meat and a cheese one. I mean, however you like it. If you're in maintenance mode and you want to just add a bunch of cheese and a bunch of like turkey and, or not turkey, I'm sorry, bacon and sausage and like all the breakfast stuff like ham, you can add all these veggies and cheese and just have it like that and no veggies. But it is important to get our veggies. But if you, you know, if you want to go one day without it or whatever, you just want meat and cheese, that would be a great one too. I might do that one day. I might do a meat, one, meat and cheese one. Mm. And then on the very top, I did a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. Remember, pepper does have carbs, even though it says zero. All seasonings do have carbs. They are hidden carbs that people don't know about. So go very light on your seasonings when you, excuse me, when you season things, okay? Please go light on them because they do have carbs. It's probably like a half a carb per, um, I don't know if it's like a, a fourth a teaspoon, probably even less than that. Just be really careful. And pepper definitely has carbs too, so just be really careful with pepper too. That's where all that hidden carb comes in and people slip out of keto and they don't know why. Mmm. Absolutely delicious. I'll show you another bite here. All the veggies and the egg and the cheese on top. Yum. Mmm. So good. So how has everybody been? I think I forgot to ask that in my last video. How's everybody doing? And um, how's my keto people doing? How are you guys doing with your meals? Are you going lower fat? Are you losing weight faster? I'm just excited for all of you guys. And even the people that aren't keto, how are you guys doing? And are you enjoying these meals? And what are you having for dinner? This one here is a great meal prep. I told you I would start teaching you guys some meal preps. This would be great for somebody uh, that I do have people that it's just the lady or just the man doing keto, nobody else in the family. So here you would have four meals for yourself that you could just cut up the piece you're going to eat, put the other four or the other three in containers and you could freeze it. Um, you know, after everything cools down though, make sure everything cools down. Then, then you could freeze it and then just pull them out each day or whatever day you wanted it, pull it out, pop them in your microwave to cook it all ready to go. Um, if it was, uh, if you didn't want to do it um, in four, you wanted a smaller slice, you could do it in six at six meals. Like I said, you could add a salad on the side, pork right on the side, pork rinds, um, or uh, cauliflower rice with maybe a little bit of hot sauce or soy sauce on it. You could add some cauliflower mash. There's just so many things that you can do. So that would help give you guys a prep idea, prep meals uh, for the week. And I'll start doing that. It's only me and my husband here that eat. So we've got two meals here. I'm eating it for dinner tonight and I'm going to have a piece of this tomorrow for breakfast. So my breakfast is all ready to go, which is awesome. And it's got all your great veggies and everything here, you know? Can't beat that, right? I'm gonna turn this up just a little bit. I love this movie. I've already seen this movie like four times and I can't get enough of it. The ending, even though I know what it is, it just blows me away every time, even though I know what the ending is. And those of you that have seen it, you know what I'm talking about. So whatever you do, don't write it down in my box in case people haven't seen it. Mm. But yeah, this would have been very good with Parmesan cheese too. Parmesan is just such an awesome way to get a cheese in, in a way that it's not heavy fat, you know? And you, you don't even have to do the Parmesan, like the real finely grated one that you use for spaghetti. You could get the finely shredded one, you know? Because that's so low in fat. And Parmesan is zero for carb. Mmm. So yummy. This piece here, like I said, I cut mine four ways. This was plenty because I am getting full already. Lots of protein here with those eggs and the turkey bacon. I think my last um, quiche I made, I did it with leftover ham. I had had some ham and I wanted to use that up, so I did it with ham. I had bought a ham steak and I cooked it one night for, for dinner and the next day for dinner, I thought I'm gonna throw everything together and have a quiche. Might have done it for lunch, can't remember. Mm. 
I am sorry about the outfit. Um, I told you guys I was doing a special outfit when I did these red nails here. And it just wasn't what I wanted. Because this, uh, this outfit's going to be very special to me. And I'm doing it for a special friend. And I just want it to be perfect since, you know, it's just something really special to me. And I it, there was just things about it that I, I didn't want. And I wanted to add some things to it because I want to make it really fun. So you guys will see that in two weeks. I mean, this video, when I say this, you could have already seen it or it could be coming, you know, that week for you. I don't know because I always do my videos late. Today is the 25th, I believe. So we'll just see again when you get this one. I always try to get about three to four mukbangs a week loaded. So I'm ahead of myself. I think I've told you guys that before. Last bite. Mm. That was very yummy. Um, thank you guys for all your support on that um, letter that my brother had wrote. He's very smart when it comes to keto and healthy eating and what protein and carbs and fat does to your body. He's very smart when it comes to that. He studied lots of months and months and months on it and has learned how everything works. Um, just like if something says zero, he knows how to calculate like the fat and the protein. I'm not sure how he does it, so don't quote me on this, but he knows how to figure out how many carbs are truly in it. When something says zero, he knows how to figure that out too because he studied how to do that. So I want to learn that myself on the zero stuff so I know. Um, but anyways, he had re he wasn't finished with that letter and I wasn't supposed to upload that yet. So, um, well, when you get this video, I don't know if I had reread it to you guys, if I actually did redo the letter and send it to you guys, or if I'm going to do it after this, I don't even know. <laughs> so, but um, yeah, he wasn't finished excuse me, I wasn't finished with it when I had read it and there was just lots of other things he wanted to add, but then he finally got it all completed and said, um, just go ahead and read it again. So, <laughs> so sorry if I ended up having to do it again or whatever, but I hope you guys enjoyed that. And if you haven't seen it yet, hope you will enjoy that because he's, he's smart. And I hope if you already did watch it that you will re-watch this one because there's so much more that he added into this one to really give you guys the layman terms of everything. So, that being said, this mukbang is over. I am going to finish this movie. I know I'm only into it a few minutes, but I'm going to watch this movie and enjoy it. Hope you guys had a wonderful day. Hope you enjoyed this mukbang and definitely try out a quiche. Make it any way you want or make it exactly the way I did. I'll have a slideshow at the end of how I made this one too and um, the ingredients and I'll mark it down on my box too to make it easy for you guys. So anyways, if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification so you don't miss any videos. Thank you for all your guys' love and support and all the subscribers. I love you guys. Take care. God bless. And I'll see each and every one of you in my next video.